I want to make NBA. Over the years, basketball has always been considered the sport of heights. And with all reason, generally, the shorter you are, the bigger of a disadvantage you have at making it to the next level. But this guy had all that. At the age of 15, he was 6 foot 7. Then all of a sudden, at the age of 18, he grew to 7 foot 9 inches tall. He was supposed to make it to the NBA. But what happened to the tallest basketball player ever? What's good everyone, it's Sandals. This is the story of Sun Ming Ming, the tallest basketball player ever. When it truly comes to comprehending his height, look at this picture of him with Yao Ming. I know right? Now look at a picture of Yao Ming next to a bunch of current and former NBA players. If Sun Ming Ming was in this picture, he would be here, partially cut off. The Rock even went ahead and met the guy. Here's that moment. Yup. I was kind of surprised he wasn't talked about more, as he is the tallest basketball player ever and the ninth tallest living person in the world. For those of you who have never heard of him, this is Sun Ming Ming, a Chinese basketball player being 7 foot 9, 370 pounds. His vertical is nothing amazing, but I mean at 370 pounds, how high can you really jump? But do you even need to? Like he can dunk without even jumping, he'll be dunking on mans without even a sweat. He had all the tools to make it to the next level, and even came to the United States pursuing an NBA career. He trained with the Los Angeles Lakers, but then what? So Sun was born in a small town near Harbin, China. He only started playing basketball at 15 years old, which according to a lot of people was way too late. And at the time he was 6 foot 7. After that, his life sort of completely flipped as by the time he was 18, he was 7 foot 9 inches tall. He then traveled to the United States in 2005 in hopes to start an NBA career. When he arrived in the US, he became an internet sensation becoming one of the most famous people in the world. He started playing basketball at Ventura College for the 2005 season, though he only played the one season and decided to move on to playing professionally. He declared for the NBA draft in 2005 and had a workout with the Los Angeles Lakers. Ultimately, he wasn't drafted, but of course, that didn't stop him. Unfortunately, at this time, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor attached to his pituitary gland that was stimulating the overproduction of growth hormone, which was potentially a very fatal condition and also explained his insane height. But at the time, he didn't have the health insurance or enough money to pay for the upcoming huge medical bill. But his agent decided to organize a fundraiser to raise the necessary money which was going to cost over a hundred thousand dollars. Then thanks to his agent and the generosity of several people, doctors successfully removed the tumor. He trained for several months after this and was finally healthy enough to return to his basketball career and he suddenly became a superstar. He even gained a role in a pretty big time movie. I don't know if many of you even realize this, but remember that scene in Rush Hour 3? Whoa! Damn! I'm sorry, man. I thought this was the bathroom. Lee, I got a big problem, man. This boy's on steroids. Bonnie and Black, man. Yep, that was Ming. He played for multiple teams and being 7 foot 9 was his cover letter. So teams made sure to take advantage of that, selling out venues whenever he played. He was famous and even played in the ABA's big comeback project alongside Jason Williams. Although the project failed and Ming decided to play in another minor league before finally settling on the Beijing Ducks of the CBA. You know, after watching a lot of his basketball clips, I'm completely convinced that a lot of his teammates don't realize that there is a freaking giant out there playing with them. 
Like, look at this. He's calling for the ball. Throw it into your big man. God damn, number one. Look who's guarding him. That's an easy bucket. I don't know. Maybe they're all trying to make a name for themselves by being completely blind. But you know, it is what it is. He played with the Ducks from 2009 to 2014 and became a two-time CBA champion before finally retiring from professional basketball. Ming's basketball career was a wild one, but his acting career is not over yet as he has appeared in multiple movies and television series since retiring. Sun Ming Ming was taller than any NBA player or even basketball giant than you could think of, whether it be Manu Bol, Yao Ming, or even the tallest NBA player in history, Jorge Mirjan. He is going to be remembered no matter what and did have a successful career even though he never made it to the NBA. Anyways guys, that's the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments about what you think. And yeah, it's been Handles. Later, y'all.